Well, as the demand for renewable energy increases, so does the demand for qualified electricians to install the machinery. Reporter Mel Meyer toured the facilities at Northwest Technical College as prospective electrical construction students heard how they can get into the growing field. I'm Peter Thule, I'm one of the instructors. It's the first Thanks. ever electrical construction day, a day solely highlighting this trade program at the college. Jory Carlson says he was excited to see all the machines being shown. That water pump lab was really cool when it would shut off at a certain uh, level and then turn back on if it was getting low. Staff members hope to garner interest in the program with the promise of hands-on experience in school and openings for well-paying jobs afterwards. There's a lot of need for people in this particular profession, the electrical construction profession, and so we're trying to meet the needs of just not locally, but even regionally and throughout the state of Minnesota. Another draw is a chance to learn about renewable energy, like energy efficient switches and how to install solar panels. We'll figure out how to size them and how to do site surveys and figure out where you want to put it and which direction you want to aim it and how big to make it so that you can fit the needs of the customer. It's one of the areas that first year student Adam Carlson is interested in pursuing after graduation. It's not going away anytime soon and um, it's just really interesting to me to make electricity off of sunlight or <laughs> wind, you know. Carlson doesn't know of anyone else in the 30 student program looking to get into renewables. Others seem to enjoy the solar class as well. Perfect timing for them as demand increases. And I think the, the prices are starting to become where it's actually beneficial to install some of these systems. In Bemidji, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. Current electrical construction students will graduate from the program this Friday at the Sanford Center. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.